This is Grayson, and my name is Robert. And what happens if you forget to check your impeller before taking a trip? You're about to find out, and so are we. Now, do you see anything? No. Poppy. You found pieces? No, I just, this, this goes to, okay. Move this. Yeah. The boat suddenly started heating up and we weren't exactly sure why. We started investigating and this is what we discovered. We found that the impeller had been severely neglected. So we quickly replaced it and then started looking for the pieces that had fallen off of it. Did any of the pieces come out? No. Did any water come out? Yeah, there's some dirt. Looks like pieces of teeth. <laughs> Maybe some oysters or something. That might be some of the pieces. No, they're white. Oh, okay. Yeah, white and brown. But uh, this thing is like, uh, there's more connections than just that bag. Right there. There shouldn't be. There are. Let me see. I mean, it's just say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. God damn it. Okay. Okay, you got a good position for Kind him? of, maybe. Okay. All right, go ahead. That's it? That's it. Well, unless you spilled some of the water, some of it came off of the sides. Did you spill some of the water? A little bit. Okay, then. That's why. Yeah, I do. But I need hey, to. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. This phone. Hey, give me the phone. Okay, let's get. Phone. Just, okay. Give me the phone. It's already video taped. You may have already gathered that we're not diesel mechanics, okay, so we're just trying our best to figure things out. Here you will see that we have opened up the heat exchange and we're looking for the pieces that may have fallen off the impeller. Okay. All right. Oh, God damn it. Why is that sticky? Oh my God, that's... What's wrong? Oh, we'll turn off the camera. Yeah. Turn <laughs> Okay, ready? Okay, so um, today we're going to clean out the uh, heat exchange and um, my friend David recommended that we use this universal rifle cleaning kit and uh, it comes with this cable and we're gonna use it to go in through each of the cylinders to see if we can clear out anything that might be in there that might be causing it to not flow properly. Um, this system utilizes seawater uh, to cool the engine. And so sometimes uh, barnacles will grow in there or you'll get fish scales or slime. And we're also looking to see if there's any more impeller pieces that are in there. And so, uh, this cable that came with the rifle cleaning kit works nicely. Um, this system was in pretty decent shape. I'm not finding much in there. Next, before we put it back together, we are replacing all the old O-rings and gaskets.
Next, I'm using a steel brush to clean it off real good. Once it's real clean, put a little lube on the O-ring so that it doesn't dry and crack. And then place the cover back on real carefully. Nothing is easy to reach. Patience is very important. Take it slow and you'll get through it. I did. Once the bolts are mostly screwed in, use an Allen wrench to tighten them. I'm sure you've also already noticed that we're unable to see what we're doing. We're mostly just doing this by feel. It's quite difficult, but it's doable. We get through it a little bit at a time. When tightening the bolts, it's recommended that you alternate sides to ensure that you have even pressure. The bolts are just hand tightened, 
So this is another reason it's always important to inspect the engine before each passage to make sure that nothing comes loose with all the vibrations. While the gloves are quite fashionable, it also adds another layer of difficulty. It's very hard to feel your way using these gloves. Next, just attach all the hoses and start up your engine. We're finally done. Nothing sounds better than the purr of an engine when you've completed a job that you've done yourself. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.